What's going on guys? We are here in After Pulse with a very quick video. Just want to show you the A500 at 6 stars, level 22 versus level 23. So level 22 is going to be sub 4000 rate of fire. You see rate of fire is 3998. Once you level this up, you see I'm so close to hitting level 23. Pretty much one training match will get me there, almost guaranteed, unless I get the zero score bug or something. Uh, but once it hits level 23, it will be above 4,000. I forget what it gets to exactly, but I think it's like 4,003 or something like that. I, I don't know. Um, but it's over 4,000. And I did a video with the AC30 going from sub 3,000 rate of fire to over 3,000 rate of fire. And a lot of you guys liked it. A lot of you guys said it really opened your eyes as to the difference in you know those rate of fire thresholds. So I figured now would be the perfect time to showcase the A500 when it becomes a beast. It becomes a new beast once it gets to level 23. So I'll, uh, I'll be a little quiet here, let you soak in the A500 at, um, at sub 4000 rate of fire here. So hopefully you got a decent taste by now, obviously it'll keep going, we'll just let the training match play out, it, it'll be a short enough video anyways, just about 5 minutes probably to be honest. So once we're done with this, the XP that we gain from the weapon XP from getting kills and training, um, that should put us at level 23, slightly above it. So. We should be good and just jump right into another training match and you can see the difference right off the bat. And then when I go to edit it, if I feel it's necessary, you know, I can play them side by side. Like if you watch my past video of 3000 versus 3001 rate of fire, which was the AC31 I just mentioned, um, then I can edit them right next to each other and that's when you really can tell the difference because, you know, right now you got to kind of remember what this sounds like as opposed to what it's gonna sound like in you know about a minute and a half here when we get back into another training match at level 23 so there's a training match mostly pretty much all fired out of the scope 54 0 and 2 not bad at all that's sub 4,000 rate of fire. And we should see it level up here. Let's see what we got. We got a crate. And boom, level 23. Later, he gets the rebound, passes it to the man, shoots it, and boom, goes the dynamite. Level up, A500 on the bottom left there. Might as well claim these challenges. No sense in not claiming them and doing another training match, but. Go through them as quick as possible, and there we go. Take a look at the stats real quick. And I was right, actually, 4,003 rate of fire. So pay close attention when we jump into our next training match. This gun is going to be a lot different. Jump into Warehouse again. Hopefully we have a pretty good match. I mean, there's no guarantees, but I mean, last match we go, what was it, like 54 and 0? Like, that's tough to, uh, that's tough to beat. I might do worse than that. Kind of makes it seem like less of a of a big deal getting above 4,000 rate of fire, but I mean I can feel it already. It's killing a lot quicker. Totally missed the fire button there. It's definitely killing quicker. Definitely just I don't know. Seems to be doing damage faster or more accurate or something. And of course we died, and just like that we probably ruined our training match. Um, <laughs> I can definitely feel a difference. I'll uh, I'll shut up like I did last time for a little bit here. Hopefully, you don't die again, and hopefully, you can hear it. Another death, unfortunately. That's pretty frustrating. Kind of annoying. 
So don't compare it based on kills. Just compare it based on the sounds and the general view of the performance. I mean, look at that. We just got three kills lined up. I'm about to die again. Hauser's charging at us. Let's get into the scope here. A little longer range sitting under these stairs. Taken out by another grenade. Gotta love it. I don't know. Maybe they increase the difficulty of training once you level up your A500. I don't know. That would be insanely stupid, and I'm 99% sure it's not the case, but... <laughs> I mean, look at this. Come on. Where was this last match? I just went 54-0, and 0, and now this happens. I'm trying to showcase a better gun. It's supposed to be better, and I'm about to do, like, half as good as I did last time. And there's no going back, you know? I can't... I can't just go backwards to level 22 and remake this video, so... Pretty much stuck with this. <laughs> I don't know. I was just trying to pick up a couple of kills there at the end, but we ended up dying again. Uh, so 42, five and six. 42 kills is not bad considering we died five times. So I guess I'm okay with that. But hopefully you heard the difference. If not, I'll edit in um, a little ending here to this video and put them side by side. That'll really highlight the difference. You know, it's, you can definitely feel a difference in performance, so I don't know, hopefully this highlighted that for you. Just wanted to give you that example, um, you know, I guess it'd be mostly useful for newer players. It's basically a, one of the most common questions for a newer player to ask, you know, what gun should I build? You should build a 6-star A500 and get it to level 23 because of what I just showed you in this video. So hopefully this helped, hopefully that, you know, opened your eyes a little bit. And yeah, just uh, went a little longer than I thought it would, but generally a quick video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And be sure to subscribe for more upcoming videos. I'll try to max this guy out and get a review as soon as possible. And I got some other stuff I'm working on, lots of cool projects. So stay tuned for those. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss them. And as always, I will catch you on the next video. Okay, great. Thanks a lot for that look in the sports, Brian. Yeah.